So this is what I used when I was learning how to type. As a kid, I was fascinated by people in movies that would just type away and not even look at the keyboard while they were typing. And I really wanted to learn how they did it. At that time, I mean, that was like 2002, 2003. We couldn't afford a computer. So this is what my dad gave me to learn how to type. And uh, yeah, back when I started, I remember I would type like, I had to look for the keys that I would press and I'll tap on it. But uh, yeah, eventually we got a PC and I used a program to learn how to type. And today I think I am not very fast, but at least I feel like I'm good enough. Okay, so why am I talking about this? I think I should keep it away now because yeah, uh, I'm done. So this keyboard that I'm using on my Android device is somewhat bringing me back to the days when I used to use that typewriter to learn how to type. So TypeWise is the keyboard that I'm talking about. and. It's an Android app that promises to stop typos. I mean, I like some of the features of the app, like the ability to delete text just like Gboard and the ability to scroll through text as well, just like Gboard. You also have the option to switch back to how most keyboards look like if you don't like the design and it's a bit too confusing for you, just like me. But if you do that, then what's the point of having the keyboard? It's just going to be like every other keyboard. I didn't like everything about the app when I first installed it, but after an update, well, most of the things that I didn't like about it were fixed. Like um, the ability to capitalize letters. When I first got the app, in order to capitalize letters, you'll have to swipe up on the letter. But now they have this um, button that you can just tap to capitalize your letters. And you can double tap it to make it all caps. There are also some pro features you can unlock, but you have to pay a one-time fee, or you can pay monthly if the one-time fee is too, maybe too much for you. You know, just to test out the app and uh, decide if you want to keep it or not. So, will I be using this app as my daily keyboard? Well, the thing is that there is a standard now for how keyboard should look like and this is not what the standard is. So, it's going to be fun to learn something like this and to use to impress your friends or, you know, just be different from every other person. However, for me, I don't want to have to learn something new if I don't have to. I've already learned how to use the standard keyboards like the QWERTY. So there is no point of me using this one today because it's not the same as the one I'm used to. Had it been every letter and character was in the same position, fine, I would go ahead and use this one as maybe my permanent keyboard. But for now, it means I have to learn how to use it again. So if one day the normal keyboard we are used to gets banned, then fine, I'll start to learn how to use this one. But until then, yeah, I will not be using this keyboard. But it's going to be fun to see people using this keyboard without making mistakes and just typing away. But until then, if you guys enjoyed the video, please give it a like. And if you have questions, you can leave them in the comments. I'll be seeing you in the next video.